Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So in the previous video, we have talked about how you can create your Vagrant file for open 5 js and UE Ransom. Now in this video, I will show you how you can create a single Vagrant file and spin up both of your open 5 js and UE Ransom. So I'm in my terminal here and I will create a directory multiple VMs. Let me open my code editor and inside my code editor, if you see here, uh, I have this directory multiple VMs and I will just create a Vagrant file. Now to start, I can use the previous, let me just zoom it a bit. Now to start, I can I can use the previous uh, UE Ransom and open 5 js Vagrant file. So let me just copy this and put it inside this, uh, you can say Vagrant file. So this is the complete details for open 5 js Vagrant file. However, we need to create two virtual machine using the single Vagrant file. I can just create a directory called installation and here inside installation I can create a new file open5js.sh so this would be the shell script which I would be using to install my open5js virtual machine. I can go to my virtual machine and I can copy everything that has helped me install open5js and move it into the shell script just do sha bang and I can just write pin bash yes this would be the shell that I would be using to install all my components related to open 5js all right so this is for open 5js and inside my vagrant file I will change this from inline to path here I can just write path so this is the first change that I would be doing and now the next change is to define the second virtual machine. And now to define two virtual machines, we need to change this uh, complete, uh, you can say block. So here we have config, right? So we can just type config.vm.define and I will just write the 5G in a box here. Do, so this means I'm using a namespace called open 5 js for my virtual machine and I will just rename everything as open5js so this means my VM box that is focal64 and the hostname I will just rename the hostname to open5js here so private network 101 I will just remove and or comment the sync folders uh, now because we are using multiple virtual machines so we need to define some port forwarding so we just copy this and I would add one more port that would be for SCTP initially C8412 238412. So you can see here I'm not using any sync folder as of now, but we are going to add it later. And I could just make it as local and I will just set host name. So this block can go here with this one so this is our virtual box or the provider definition and here i will change this as open 5gs and this would be end and i will just move this as open 5gs as well so i've changed everything to open 5gs so this is my configuration and this configuration this block i have to add and end here so this block of config ends here and this is the complete definition of my vagrant file i will be using the same block for ue ransom but before that i will go to the vagrant file for ue ransom copy all this into a new file and as usual i will be defining the sha bank for this one as well all right so far so good we are done with the configuration we don't need this just copy the complete block from here and paste it here everything would be same but i will just rename everything to change the ip address we don't need any forwarded port for this one you see i have created two virtual machine definition one is 5g in a box and other is UE ransom. 
Now let's go to our terminal. Let me just validate it. All right. So the vagrant file is validated successfully. I can just do vagrant up and now it will start booting up two virtual machines. So you can see bringing 5G in a box and bringing machine UAE ransom. So it should be pretty quick. Uh, the only time that it should take would be in provisioning the virtual machine. Almost, so my both the virtual machines are almost configured. And if I show you the vagrant status now, 5G in a box and UE ransom are both running. I will just SSH into 5G in a box. Let me just check the status of all the services. All right, the web UI is active running, NSFT, FT, everything is up and running here. There's one thing that I need to do before we can start is that I will update this configuration of web UI service so that I can access it from my local from my host machine and environment is equal to host name 0 0.0.0.0 and environment port 3000 all right and i will just do a sudo system ctl daemon reload and what i will do i will just restart this service and if i check the status now it is ready on this port let me just go to my firefox browser and as you can see i can access this so i will just log into this web ui add a subscriber here so i'm inside my virtual machine of uv ransom you can see and i just checked this open 5jcu.yaml which contains the mc so i'll just copy this paste it here all right it's already there subscriber key and opc that's correct and we don't need to change anything everything should be same so i've just created this subscriber here it's still building it so <coughs> and uh, what i will do i will just move the ue into ue1.yaml so i need to use sudo here because it's all configured with root and for gnode b1.yaml so if I show you the Visual Studio code, this is the UE Ransom IP address 192.168.56.102. So I will just change this NGAP IP. Change this as 192.68.6.101. So I've changed the two IP address. NGAP IP is 192.168.56.102 and AMF IP address is 192.168.56.101. Port is 38412 and that's it. Our GNOBI configuration is done. Now your NSIM is successfully built and we have the uh, AMF login here. So what I will do is first of all go to sudo vi etc 5gs AMF YAML. All right, we are here and if you see NGAP, it should be Fifty six dot one oh one because this is our AMF IP address. So let me just do one five GS AMFT and all right. So this is AMF is initialized. I can just retail I have var log AMF. 15 gs amft.log so i can see whatever is going here 
and let's try to connect so sudo build nr tnodeb hyphen c tnodeb one dot yaml and you can see and the setup response received and the setup procedure is successful and if i see these details here the e node b ip addresses or sorry the g node b ip addresses 192.168.56.102 so number of g node b is now one let me open one more terminal and if i do vagrant status so let me just go to config now let's try to connect the ue so open 5gs oh, sorry build and our ue hyphen c a1 dot yaml all right so let's try to connect and you can see the pdf session establishment is successful tunnel is up so if i see this detail here there's some authentication failure and i will explain you why this is happening because we have to update the details so that your smf is also reachable right now the smf is not reachable and the ue is also not able to reach to the UE is not able to reach to upf as well so we will understand the complete call flow and accordingly we are going to update our architecture so that we can incorporate all the components of 5g core with the testing of ue ransom so right now we just split the g node b as well as the ue into a different virtual machine that is the ue ransom and amf essentially amf only into a different virtual machine there are a couple of ways to do it either we can update all the components and have the 5g in a box okay which i will show you in the next video and then i will show you how you can split the components like amf smf upf into different virtual machine so that essentially you can have nfes so if you want to see those videos please subscribe to my channel and i have updated the playlist you can go to the playlist and watch those videos as well i hope this session is i hope these videos are very useful for you in case it is please subscribe to my channel to support me and i will see you in the next video